Welcome to State of Tech. We're going to take a look at five launchers that you can download for your Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge. Now this video is a matter of opinion. These are the five launchers that I found in the Google Play Store that I happen to like the most. It doesn't necessarily mean that these are the best. You can search the Google Play Store for a wide variety of launchers and find the one that you like the best and then use it. That is only if you don't like using the actual standard TouchWiz, which is what I'm using right now. So I'm going to go through these launchers. I'm going to do it fairly quickly because a lot of them have a lot of customization. So I'm going to show you quickly what each one of these looks like. So let's go ahead and start off with the Nova Launcher. You can see launching into Nova Launcher, this looks drastically different than the actual Samsung one. I have additional home screens on the left and right sides. I have a traditional app drawer that you would see in most stock Android devices. And I've even applied a custom icon pack that you can see here on the app launcher. Now, like most typical app launchers, what you can do is customize a lot of the features. So if I tap and hold on an area of the home screen, this looks pretty similar to the actual TouchWiz one. I can add in my own home screens. I can choose which one I want to make default home screen. I can change my wallpaper, add widgets. So there's a wide variety here. But what's really cool is that you'll notice with Nova Launcher, the wallpaper has a scrolling effect. So as I move from one wallpaper to the next, you see the actual background actual scrolls with me. So what we can do is come here and come into our Nova settings and you see that there are a lot of different options. Currently, I don't have it set as default, so that way I can show you all of them. But if you had it set as default, you wouldn't see that warning up at the top. Now with the desktop, you can change a lot of options like the grid, the icon layout, the paddings, the persistent search bar, the search bar style. So here's the search bar. If we set it to persistent, it would always show. And we can even change the look and feel of that one. We have scrolling effects, we have page indicators, we can automatically add new icons to the home screen, we can even allow widgets to overlay and locking our desktop to prevent accidental um, entries. We can even change all of our apps and widgets. This is our widget drawer. We can see all of our different options in here. So Nova Launcher, I like this one. You, they seem to update theirs quite frequently and they even take advantage of some of the actual betas. So if we were to come into here and choose say our folder background, you'll notice they have an end preview so that they're already on top of the game with the folder style of Android N which is the current beta for the next release of Android. So this one gets updated quite frequently and you see a lot of features in this one. Now there is a free version and if you download the Nova Prime and pay for it, additional features are unlocked. But a lot of this you can come in here and change, such as changing your icon pack, changing how your app drawer looks, and even changing how the home screen operates and feels. So now let's take a look at Action Launcher 3. So if I tap on that, this one looks quite similar to the Google Now Launcher by default. So I can tap here, I see my list of app drawer, and I see all the apps in here. If I swipe out from the left hand side of the screen, I have kind of this little hidden app drawer that I can see a nice list of all my apps. I can come in here, notice on these icons, there's a little kind of drawer on the bottom of some of them. That actually allows me to swipe up and launch the widget for that app. So, so it's really cool. And if I tap on the Google persistent bar up at the top, if I tap up there and then come into settings, these will be my action launcher settings. So I, on this one, I can quickly theme it. So if I choose a theme, I can choose by my wallpaper, a default theme, material light, material dark. And if I want to say I choose my wallpaper, now I'll tap okay, come back out. Notice everything is now skinned to my wallpaper, even this app drawer over here. And now what I'm going to do is come back into my settings. I can even change the quick bar. So this is my actual Google search bar. So I can change the logo, enable voice search. And what I can even do is actually tap on the quick bar. And what's cool is I can choose none, a search, an action bar, which allows me to add in some apps, a preset social, productivity, and even audio. So if I were to do an action bar, we'll tap OK. And now look, I can come in here and actually add in my own apps. So I can see all my different options down here. And what I can do now is I have the Play Store. So if I tap on Play Store, what I can do is edit icon and remove. And if I tap the plus button, you see I can actually add in a custom menu group and even some presets down below.
And then like we did with Nova, we can change our display options, our desktop, app drawers. There's even shortcuts. And this one also has a plus feature which you can purchase to unlock additional features. Action Launcher 3 is one of my favorites because it has a lot of customization. You can even change the app icons like we did in Nova. But the reason I like it the most is this kind of alphabetical list app drawer that you can pull out from the side. Now the Zen UI Launcher, if you've ever owned an Asus phone, this is going to be the default launcher that comes with those phones. Now, it's not usually the prettiest. I don't really care for how the icons look, but you can actually change the icons like we could do with other launchers. There are other Zen apps that they've kind of pre-installed with this launcher. So if I launch the Zen UI family or Zen choice or themes, those are more like the Zen UI stores that I can download their different options. It has the app drawer, and what it's done here is actually grouped all my apps together for me automatically. And so it's taken everything that I've downloaded, added it to its own folders, and I can come back up here and I can actually come in here and let's just say we were to do a smart group. It's going to group all my applications together in this sort of smart group. We'll tap done and those changes have been saved. But if I tap up here, I can even choose a different view mode so I can just view all apps. It's going to take them out of folders and just show me all the apps. And then I can even just view the ones I've downloaded from the Google Play Store. So it's going to hide any of my system apps. And then I can view Customize, which is going to be that smart categorization that it's done for me. And then there is a Frequent, so it's going to sort them by Frequently Used. So this Zen UI is kind of cool. You can swipe down from the top and it launches a search option. And this is going to use Zen Search. So you can have a Google search. You see your most frequently used apps. And they're going to give you these recommendations and kind of trending searches. If you swipe up from the top, you can manage your home screen. You can edit it, change your wallpapers. You'll notice that I can even change icon packs, change my launcher theme, lock apps from being uninstalled or used, and even changing my preferences and system settings. So the Zen UI one is more of the one that comes pre-installed again with all the Asus phones. And if you wanted to use it, it's downloadable in the Google Play Store. Now let's take a look at Aviate. This is a launcher by Yahoo. And this is kind of a nice feature because I can swipe over from the right and it's categorized all of my apps on my phone into these sort of pre-existing folders. So I have social, photography, productivity, and these are just the ones based upon what I've downloaded. Yours could look differently. Now if I drop down this kind of folder, you see I see all of the ones that's categorized. I can move apps in here myself if I want to, and I can even view suggested apps that I can download from the Play Store. Swipe over once more and I have an alphabetical list of all my apps. Notice this is kind of similar to the Action Launcher, how it has that kind of drawer feel and I can scroll it over here on the side. Coming back out to the home screen, if I tap and hold, I can change my wallpaper, add in widgets, and even view the Aviate settings, which we can show you in just a second. If I swipe up from the bottom of the screen, what it's going to do is open up my favorite contacts and my recents and allow me to initiate a phone call and even create a new message using my default apps. Swipe over to the left and here are some frequently used widgets such as my battery, I can view what's around me, get nearby place locations, view upcoming events in my calendar and events that are happening today, as well as get a weather forecast. And what's also nice is I can tap up here in the search bar, which you'll notice has been persistent across the entire app. So that search bar is always up there. I can tap up there and it's going to show me the trending searches that are happening on Yahoo and as well as allow me to search Yahoo. And I can even swipe down from the screen and initiate that search bar as well. I happen to like this one because of these app drawers, these app personalizations over here in this nice little list. This launcher is really nice and it's really fluid and it's really fast. Now as I said earlier, we're going to go into the settings. On this one, you can sign in with your Yahoo account. You can hide cards, which the cards are these little widget cards. I've hidden a couple of them and you can actually see them and unhide them when you view hidden cards. If you set your home and work location, it's actually going to learn what apps you use when you're home and what apps you use it while you're at work. And it's going to customize these app drawers over here on the side. So it's going to organize them based upon what you use the most while you're at work or while you're at home. If we come back into the settings, I can even change the icon pack, which you're seeing as a constant theme across all the launchers, change my wallpaper, create shortcuts, and there are some custom EV8 labs that you can change badge notifications, change your color search bar, home screen animations, and even quick actions. And the last launcher that we're going to take out will be the Google Now launcher. So this is the launcher that comes pre-installed on all of Google's Nexus devices. 
You can see this kind of looks very similar to Action Launcher 3 when we first launched it. This doesn't have any of those widgets or cards. The app drawer is very consistent here. I can scroll through, there's no folders, there's no options of doing anything. It shows me all the apps here. I cannot change any of these system icons. There's real no custom options here. I do have access to a persistent Google bar up at the top and I can use my Google voice search. And if I swipe over to the left, there is the Google Now. And I can see all my Google Now cards and everything that's been going on on Google. And I'm getting all these customizations for the cards. Now, as far as Google Launcher goes, that's really it. I mean, you can add icons to the home screen coming out from the app drawer, but there's nothing really to customize here inside of Google Now Launcher. It's just plain Jane, and it runs really fast. And I, I like this one a lot too, if you're looking for more of a minimal launcher. Tapping and holding will give you access to the wallpapers, the widgets, and the settings. And the wallpaper options here, you have your pre-built in Google ones, and you can still choose from your gallery like you would in any of the other ones. And you can even add widgets just like any launcher. So that's been an overview of some of the best launchers in my opinion that you can get on the Google Play Store for your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now to really find what launcher suits you best, you're just going to need to play around with them, download them, customize them, and get to know them a little bit and see if you like them. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech and we'll see you in the next video.